Hello people, in this video let us look at some uh, Viva OC questions from microbiology. So basically microbiology you can have uh, stations like uh, for uh, general you can have one for bacteriology, you can have one for virology and others you can have one for parasitology, you can have one, right, virology, mycology you can have one, right. So let us see in um, uh, microbiology, the first station, right? In general microbiology, what viva questions they can ask, okay? <clears throat> let us see. So they can ask, let us see, in uh, historical introduction, they can ask Louis Pasteur contribution. So Louis Pasteur, all pasteurization, right? Uh, sterilization techniques, uh, fermentation, vaccination, all that you will mention. They can ask scotch postulates, like uh, the lesion will be associated with the agent, agent, uh, then you will insert into an animal that the lesion, same lesion will develop, then you should be able to isolate the same a, uh, agent, etc. So all that will be there. Then coming to bacteria, what will they ask? They can ask uh, why uh, gram staining, uh, why, uh, how does it happen, the procedure, right, the cytoplasm will get stained, etc. Why gram positive will get stained, why gram negative will not get stained, all that they can ask you. What they'll ask you in gram staining, what will happen if you do decolorization for a long time, why are you using iodine? as a modrant, right, all that they will ask you. Then, um, then uh, they can ask you, uh, what else, sterilization techniques, they can ask you the different types of sterilization, they can ask you the exact temperature of uh, hot air oven, exact temperature of uh, uh, autoclave, etc., they can ask those. Then they can ask you about pasteurization specific temperatures for flash method, hold method. Culture media, uh, they can ask you uh, the different types of culture media. They can ask you examples of enrichment media. So enrichment media, what will be the examples like tetrathionate broth, selenite F broth, alkaline peptone water, right, for what they are used, right, tetrathionate broth for uh, uh, salmonella typhi, alkaline peptone water for vibrio cholerae. So all these you should know. Selenite F broth, F is what? F is feces, so it's used for shigella, okay. Specifically, I was asked enrichment, uh, they, they asked me liquid media examples, if I remember, they asked me liquid media examples. So liquid media, you can say um, uh, nutrient broth, peptone water, uh, selenite F broth, right, all of those are liquid, right. So then um, culture methods, they can ask you anaerobic culture methods, they can ask you what a gas pack is, right, they can ask you Macintosh jar. Then bacteria identification uh, I think much asked here actually biochemical test they can ask you which is urease negative that's e collar right then um, what else they can ask in general uh, microbiology they can ask you how actually uh, antibiotic resistance the bacteria develops right the conjugation the plasmids you have to mention all those then what else uh, the types of infections they can ask right so types of infections will be what primary infection, nosocomial infection, so prior infection, so many types of infection, reinfection, they can ask you what they are, okay. So in general microbiology, this is what they will ask. So one station over for you. The next station will be bacteriology. Um, okay, I think immunology is also included in general microbiology than in viva. So immunology, you will have to know uh, the antigen and the uh, body reactions, the precipitation tests, the agglutination tests, what is the difference between precipitation and agglutination right, then uh, you should know um, the types of hypersensitivity, 1, 2, 3, 4, all of them, the differences between them, then you will need to know um, what uh, heterophile antigens are, right, heterophile antigens you need to know. Now coming to systemic bacteriology, this is the second station, let us say you go to the second station and there they will ask you bacteriologic questions. So they will ask you um, uh, bacteria which is a cocobacilli. So like uh, uh, Coxilia burnetii, lot of examples are there for that. They can ask you if it is a bacteria, a particular bacteria is a gram positive or a gram negative bacteria. Then they can ask you um, in E. coli, they can ask uh, uh, basically the, <coughs> the uh, diarrheogenic uh, E. coli, right? The diarrheogenic E. coli, they can ask uh, the types of uh, diarrheogenic E. coli like uh, enteropathogenic E. coli, enterotoxigenic E. coli, enteroinvasive E. coli, enterohemorrhagic E. coli, enteroaggregative E. coli, right, diffusely adherent E. coli. So, a lot of things about bacteria they can ask a lot, right. Uh, they can ask how will you treat also, like uh, they can ask very basically how how you will treat. Vibrio cholerae lab diagnosis, they can ask TCBS, agar, all that you remember. Then, uh, Vibrio uh, classification if they want, they can ask, like they can ask, uh, 
ग्रुप ए ग्रुप बी वॉट इज ओ वॉट इज ओगावा इनाबा हिको जीवा ऑल दैट दे कैन आस्क दे कैन आस्क यू स्पेसिफिकली अबाउट दोज बैक्टीरिया आई एम नॉट एबल टू रिमेंबर एग्जैक्टली वॉट आई वॉज आस्ट इन द वाइवा लेट सी ट्यूबिक्लॉस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दे कैन आस्क यू वॉट आर द कंटेंट्स ऑफ द एल जी मीडिया राइट दे कैन आस्क यू वॉट आर द अदर कल्चर मीडिया यूज फॉर माइको बैक्टीरियम ट्यूबिक्लॉसिस राइट यू कैन यूज डॉर्सिट्स एग मीडिया इज इट सो डॉर्सिस डॉर्सिट्स एग मीडिया इज एन अदर मीडिया राइट देन मिडिल ग्रुप मीडिया सो लॉर ऑफ मीडिया अदर डुबोस मीडिया राइट एंड यू शुड नो वॉट इज डिफरेंट अबाउट माइको बैक्टीरियम ट्यूबिक्लॉसिस वाई जेड एन स्टेनिंग इज डन वॉट इज द प्रिंसिपल दे हैंड जेड एन स्टेनिंग ऑल दैट यू शुड नो अंडर स्पाइरोट्स यू कैन लर्न अबाउट ट्रिपोनिमा पैलिडम राइट सिफिलिस स्टेजेस इन सिफिलिस राइट ऑल स्टेजेस इन दिफिलिस यू कैन नो सम एस टी डीज कॉज बाय बैक्टीरिया यू कैन लर्न राइट so station 2 done let us move on to station 3 now station 3 is let us say uh, virology and mycology okay so let us see in virology what they can ask in virology they can ask uh, 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 rubella congenital rubella they can ask okay congenital rubella syndrome then uh, what exactly uh, herpes they can ask oncogenic viruses they can ask epstein barr virus right hiv they can focus a lot on hiv to ask you the lab diagnosis right uh, how it is transmitted modes of transmission risk etc right uh, now what exactly uh, the lab diagnosis is done opportunistic uh, uh, infections in aids patient right they might ask all those things And then okay so uh, cytopathic effects of virus can be asked inclusion bodies can be asked right then chick embryo inoculation where will you inoculate what like um, uh, in the amniotic cavity what will you in inoculate right in the allantoic cavity what why will you now inoculate something then where will you inoculate the pox virus all that they can ask then they can ask you what is viral interference right then uh, what exactly is a bacteriophage it's a virus that infects a bacteria right then uh, Uh, what are the examples of retroviruses because hiv is not the only thing that is a retrovirus you also have the uh, one more uh, virus is there that is human t cell lymphotrophic virus htlv okay so they can ask you cell cultures right what is a diploid cell culture what is a continuous cell culture that means it will have cancerous cells all that you will have to know now coming to mycology guys um, did we finish everything about uh, virus okay now let us go to mycology in mycology they can ask you uh, what dimorphic fungi are they seem to like that question examples of dimorphic fungi they will ask then they will ask um, uh, what are the questions they will ask opportunistic mycosis names they will ask then in uh, <clears throat> how will you do candida lab diagnosis that they will ask okay then what and all uh, infections candida can cause that also they can ask then cryptococcus neoformans also is one of the favorite questions okay so we are done with the third station now only one more station left in the viva that is the parasitology in parasitology they will ask you especially the examples of cystodes examples of uh, uh, trematodes examples of nematodes uh, examples of small intestinal uh, nematodes example of large intestinal nematodes all such things can be asked right uh, and in uh, parasitology protozoa and they will ask uh, uh, hemoflagellate examples they can ask you hemoflagellate ex examples right so you might need to know that then you will be asked a uh, malaria uh, what is black water fever right they can ask you that then so you have flagellates you have genital flagellates also right so that will be what genital flagellates will be trichomonas vaginalis is it flagellate protozoa let us look at this classification flagellate protozoa basically you have the genital intestinal and genital flagellates giardia lamblia trichomonas vaginalis and blood flagellates like that is the hemoflagellates you have the leishmania and the trypanosoma so basically you should know what is there you know you should know which is an amoeba which is a flagellate uh, protozoa and which is a helminth you should know basic things okay then um, what else is there stool examination stool concentration techniques what uh, 
will you find in a stool which larva will you find like strongyloids strongyloids stercoralis larva you can find in stool however other larva you don't see you see adult worms or you see eggs or you see cysts of the protozoa okay so such things you should know so that was about microbiology viva four stations all the four stations we have covered okay that's all for now all the best for your viva bye bye Thank you.